Vintners Hill is open for dine-in. Two weeks into phase two and folks are back in restaurants. Aside from servers in masks and tape designating proper social distancing, it could be almost any normal Friday night here at Vintners Hill. These are the Mint Hill Times. What would a normal Friday night have looked like here at Vintners Hill three months ago? Three months ago, we would have had uh, live music on Friday nights, every Friday night, and the place would be packed. By this time of the night, it would be filling up, be very lively. The music would be set up actually right where we're standing. People would be in ordering bottles of wine and uh, ordering up some great food and hanging out with us for the evening. It would be a lot of fun. What was required of you as a restaurant owner as we moved into phase two to reopen your dining room? There was a lot of guidance that was published by both the CDC and the North Carolina group of restaurants. And so what we tried to do is we asked our staff to sign on and take uh, food handling safety courses. Our check-in clock actually asks questions around um, health for the staff. You will be greeted by folks that work here wearing masks. We do currently handle uh, all of the food with gloves to make sure that we protect everybody's uh, health. We really want people to feel very comfortable and safe. We actually worked uh, a couple of evenings to scatter out and space out the seating to be compliant with the governor's uh, requirements. And we're running at half capacity. Most of the people actually want to go to the patio and there are the, the folks that do come in and want to sit inside and and they're spaced out according to the regulations. So we really look for the leadership of the governor and the health officials in the state of North Carolina, as well as the Restaurant Association, to guide our efforts and to try to be as compliant uh, as we could within the parameters of the business. I'm sitting outside on the Vintners Hill patio with Tony and Gina. It is their third time here since Vintners reopened just two weeks ago. When was the first time that you guys came? the very first night. Wow. Yes, and unfortunately the first night we had the lightning and the tornadoes and the power was out. The power was out, but we still had wine. They were making do with what they had and they were fantastic as always. What's your favorite thing to get here at Vintner Cell? First, the wine. This is our favorite uh, Corvina. Things we share a lot. Yeah, this is a curie board and then this is goat cheese. Were you nervous to come back out and be in a restaurant again? Well, a little bit. We know these people real well and we know that their food safety is top notch and we knew that they'd take care of us. We were excited to get out, you know, we couldn't hardly wait. But we almost didn't come because we were a little dubious about it, but we were so glad we did. Are there any additional practices that you two chose to put into place because you felt they were best practice and safe for your customers and staff? We've done a couple of things with that. After every menu usage, we make sure we clean the menus. We keep a section of things that are dirty, pens, menus, anything that customers have touched. We keep them on the side and then re-clean them all the time. We used to serve glasses of water. Now we typically just hand a cup of ice with a bottle so that they can serve themselves. Instead of refilling coffee cups, we're giving brand new coffee cups every single time somebody comes in. So we minimize the touch back and forth with our customers. Yeah, we actually have added an extra staff person to each shift in the evening, primarily responsible for sanitizing tables and seats. We wipe down every seat, every table surface, every pen that's been used, every check tray that goes out to the customers every page of every menu. So it adds a lot of work to just the routine. It actually sort of slows service down a little bit, but you know, the customers again, feel really comfortable. They feel like this is a safe place to be. Can you speak about some of the financial challenges of opening at 50% capacity? On the Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday nights, that's where the restaurant business really kind of makes its money. And so to be cut in half or throttled to half of the revenue possibility um, is challenging because as a restaurant owner, you, you want to see yourself reach your full capacity when you have the opportunity to realize that revenue. How does it feel to be open again? I personally love being open again. I really missed all of our customers. You know, people were coming in and doing takeout, but it's not the same as checking in with everyone. Just making sure everyone's okay, seeing what's going on in their lives right now. We've always been kind of a family, getting to know our customers, what their kids are doing, what they're doing in their lives. And it's something you, you miss after a while. So it's just been really nice to get them enjoying dinners and hanging out with us. As I look around, I see that there are a few things that have clearly changed, but tell me, what is still the Vintners Hill experience? The Vintners Hill experience is still our staff. Quality service all the time and interacting with our customers, our staff has always been part of the Vintners Hill experience. That is the thing that everyone comes here for. 
to get to know people and have great service, and that's what we've continued to do. Getting to enjoy a great bottle of wine, a glass of wine, some great snacks, but really the camaraderie of the of the uh, patrons. Getting the band back together has been uh, has been a lot of fun. Please click subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Mint Hill news and information.